Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm in the BMW 130i. Now I'm actually going to be doing a clutch delay valve delete today and it's actually something that I've already done. I've done it on my BMW E65 series and honestly it made the world of difference so I decided to do it on this car as well and in my opinion it's probably the best mod that you can do for little to no money and if you drive a manual and you really enjoy your driving and you don't want a delay between the clutch engaging with the engine then this is something that you may want to consider doing so without further ado let's get outside let's get the car up in the air and then let's take a look at the clutch delay valve Okay then, so the car is up in the air. It is on ramps and we have some, we have some chocks at the back just to stop it from rolling off the ramps and on top of us. And this should actually give us good enough access to be able to get underneath. Now we have to remove a trim panel and I believe it is this one just here on the E871 series. So once we have that removed, we should then have access to the clutch delay valve. Okay then, so there's just a whole bunch of eight millimeter screws holding this middle under tray on. So I'm just gonna remove all these. To me, that looks like Oh, that's holding it on. Yep. Okay then, so here is the transmission. And if we take a look here, we have the uh, slave cylinder, and then it goes to this thing right here. This piece of plastic, that is the clutch delay valve, and then it goes onto this hose, and that goes down there and up somewhere into the engine bay. But this piece of plastic is what we need to remove. So essentially, we just need to prise this clip out, and then I believe prise that clip out, and then remove this plastic and then push the hose onto here and that is our delete done okay then so what i've actually done is i have the vice grips with some pink cardboard on the hose that's just to try and keep as much uh, clutch fluid in as possible and now what i'm going to attempt to do is remove these clips that hold the clutch delay valve in place Oh, that's the clip out. And now, it's just for this one. Which, it's not that easy because the uh, way you prise the clip off is actually on top, so you can't, you can't get to it. There we go, let's see the clip out. Now this should all fall out, but I'm gonna get a container just to catch any of the fluid that drains out. Right. The hose is coming out. Ah, that's good. No fluid. Now a little bit of fluid leaking not much we need to get some pliers and then pull the uh, plastic valve out okay then so we have the clutch delay valve removed this is it it's just this plastic piece and I don't even know if you can see can you see that pinhole in there that is how much the clutch fluid is restricted by and that is why you have the delayed clutch uh, engagement essentially um, now all that's left to do is slide this hose into here to form a fixing and then put the clip back on and uh, that is essentially job done. Now I've actually went ahead and put everything back together as we can see. 
we have the hose going straight onto the uh, fixing for the uh, slave cylinder now and we have the clutch delay valve completely removed now I've actually went ahead and put the clip back in as well I'll put it on underneath just to make it easier if for whatever reason I do need to go ahead and remove it but now all that's left to do is remove these vice grips yeah as we can see the hose is not damaged but we will now need to uh, give the clutch fluid a flush just to get any air out of the system right now down that's it okay up down up down up down up okay then so let me just explain the process of bleeding the clutch fluid to get any air out of the out of the system so if we have a look up here there is a uh, bleeder valve on the um, slave cylinder on this car it is a seven millimeter screw just need to undo that actually have it hooked up well i did have it hooked up to this pipe which goes into an old bottle just to catch the old brake fluid and essentially what i'm doing is undoing the bleeder screw and getting someone to push down on the clutch pedal like you would if you was bleeding the brake system and uh, yeah just doing that until we have all of the air out of the system we now have all of the air out of the system so i'm going to give this area a good clean up and it is worth noting that you need to make sure that your um, brake fluid slash clutch fluid is fully topped up in these cars they both share the same reservoir so it's just located on the driver's side um, so underneath this piece of trim you just have to remove the um, cabin air filter this lifts up and then you have access to it and that's now just below the maximum and now all we need to do is put the trims back underneath and then it's job done and as we can see the under trays are now back in place all we need to do is get this thing back on the ground and take it for a test drive okay then so just got back from a little test drive and well i actually noticed like straight away as soon as i pulled away it just pulled away so much smoother like there wasn't the feeling that you was going to sort of stall when you only just pull away on the clutch it just pulls away so much easier now and like the the shift speeds are just so much quicker like the car wants to change up a gear faster than you can even physically put it into gear if that makes sense um it's just so much smoother you know you can now um shift quickly when you want to really get on it and um, you're not really going to be bogged down by that um, by that clutch delay valve so if you have not already done so and you have a manual bmw for sure make sure you go ahead and remove the clutch delay valve if of course you do know how to drive a manual if you don't then i suggest you leave it in place and learn how to drive one properly um, I think the, the main reason why the clutch delay valve was actually put in by BMW was to stop people from causing too much damage to their drivetrain. You know, if you just dip the clutch all the way down and floor it and then lift up your clutch, obviously you've got all that shock going, you know, through your, um, through your transmission, through your prop shaft, um, through your rear diff and then to your drive shaft. So, um, you know, it's not a good idea to do that. Um, but if, if, if of course you are going to drive properly, you are going to shift properly, then you will see um, a great deal of benefit. So I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. You know, like I said, I kind of have done it before um, and it's really something that is worth doing. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. Please give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so because I've got a lot more videos to come on this car and I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace! We'll